Welcome everyone. Adam DeWu here as the recording of this Thursday, August 11, 2022. Downtown celebration behind me, Market Square and Water Street. I am going to do a little park hopping, except there's one park I will not be going to today at the Walt Disney World theme parks, and that is Magic Kingdom. Because there is, as of now, no single rider line. Today's going to be a single rider video. There are four, and in reality, a few days ago, a fifth single rider line reared its head, and that is on Soaring in the Land Pavilion at Epcot Center. However, only certain times of the day are they testing out what once was many years ago. There used to be a permanent single rider. So maybe I will do five, but I definitely will do four, depending on the weather. First place I'm gonna get, I will be allowed to park hop, because after two, and it is after two, you'll be able to park hop. So the first one I'm gonna go to is Disney's Animal Kingdom, ride Expedition Everest, pop over to Hollywood Studios and do Smuggler's Run, rock and roller coaster, and then in the night at Epcot, doing Test Track, and then maybe the Sorin. I'm inviting you to join me. Shall you? And according to this clock based underneath this structure, it is 15 minutes to 4. 3.45. Well, 3.44. Animal Kingdom closes at 8, and the other two parks close at 9. I got time. I got time. Now, a single rider is not any additional fee. It's not a lightning lane. It's not a fast pass. It's not a, a feed service. Basically just means if you want to ride alone or if you want to separate your party, they will wedge you into a single rider seat. So if you had a group of people and you all went in the single rider lane, odds are pretty slim you will be in the same vehicle. The Mickey Power Pole could go on a single rider line. Disney's Animal Kingdom approaching parking area anyway gotta put this in my memory bank hey man peacock 118 right here on the first row Ooh, i can hear the yeti through the woods i also am not bringing an umbrella at least not yet obviously i'm doing park hopping so if the weather gets a little more inclemented could grab the umbrella but i didn't bring a hat today either because we'll be riding a couple coasters not only Everest, but also rock and roller. And just take a chance without having a hat on and an umbrella. The wait time's not too terrible, even without doing a single rider, only 35 minutes. But I'm thinking by utilizing the single rider line, it should be a, just a walk on, like a five minute or less. Let's see what happens when I get over there. Right over here, Everest. I've also brought along my Magic Band Plus that I got a couple weeks ago, a week or two ago when they first came out. And some more pin trading, ones I have duplicates of or ones I don't want. Now the only thing that might throw a little bit of a wrench in the whole situation, kind of change things up a little bit, is the weather itself. If the weather is going to be, you know, if lightning or anything like that happens, then Everest will go down. So hopefully no lightning before I can get over there and get on and off it. And I guess after the Yeti gets done frightening all the guests on the ride vehicle, comes down here and stays at his own palace. Of course, it's not open. Yeah, it's not open until next season. This has been, this has said this for years. It's part of the theming, this hotel. Keeps saying opening next season, but the Yeti has a palace. And I just heard a horrendous crack of thunder. So I think I'm getting over here just in time because I would imagine in the next few minutes, you know, if lightning rolls in, they might shut this down. So the single rider lane is going to be really close to the main entrance. There's going to be a sign that says single rider. So the main entrance is right over here. I can hear that thunder. The legend of the forbidden mountain. I'll see if I can. So you got standby over here and then I'll finally sign the single rider. All right, I stand corrected. Single rider is not directly in the front of the building. It's pretty close to the lightning lane where the exit through the gift shop is. So if you follow that around, you should be able to find it right up here. With the lightning lane headed that way, go past the bazaar. And it says right here, single rider now open. They also have souvenirs, film, postcards, and sweets. Hello. Oh, this is also, the, it's right next to the test vehicle. So if you need to test and see how the ride vehicle is going to be, you can test it out here in this car. Size dimensions and things like that. 
but it looks as if every single, look at this, it, yeah, it looks like there's no one in the single rider line. Look at this, it's just like a walk right up. Guests will be separated. And they're making the announcement. The ride has gone down for the storm. The cast members have just alerted everyone. So they just, no one else can get on. The last guests are getting off over there. And so I'm just gonna wait it out. I got, I don't want to go to another park and come back over, so I'm gonna wait it out. I gotta, I gotta accomplish this, this goal. Yeah, I kind of thought that that would be something that might happen, and it did. I'm just gonna be patient, though. It's, it's better just to wait than try to leave and come back. If you wish to keep your place in line, you are welcome to do so. However, we don't know how long this delay will be. Thank you for your patience. They keep making the announcement over and over. They've also roped off. The single rider line. There's only four or five of us left in the single rider line. If you're not already in the single rider line, you can't get you can't get in line. Yeah, you can see just how how bad the sky looks over there. In fact, all the cast members are over here, kind of staring up at the heavens, also thinking, "Oh, what the heck? It's about to get pretty wild up there." All right, I pulled up the current satellite weather. Look at that. That looks that looks pretty bad. Good thing I'm under shelter right now. I don't know if that's going to pass over anytime soon, though. Okay, this is interesting. About 10 minutes later, they're starting to move them again. Does that mean that they're going to activate this right again? I guess so. Maybe the lightning cleared out, even though rain is a possibility. But then again, they might have to cycle them out. Maybe it's just a protocol to cycle them. Even though, no, even though... Even though the ride's not running, maybe they just gotta keep it going in case the ride does reopen. All right, it ended up being about a 30, 35 minute delay, but really all in all, not too bad. How about the board on? Attention, expedition. Pretty fast though. Less than an hour delay. 
I thought I was gonna be in that line for a while. Yeah, the guy sitting next to me was also single ridering it also. He was here with his wife. His wife had a, another single rider row. He said he's been on it a bunch of times too. And yes, I conquered Expedition Everest. Oh, look at the Yeti right here. He's got his hiking gear on and his little, it's like a little pickaxe and a little little snow bonnet thing to keep him keep his ears warm from the snow and the ice. Very smart to pre-plan like that, Yeti. And evidently not too concerned about the rain now because they pulled the merchandise outside here. This is outdoors at one with the elements. Yeah, so the storm passed by pretty quick. Gotta love Florida. One minute, it's like terrifying. The next, it's fine. Okay, I just heard the switch track noise. Should be dropping in any second now. You can kind of hear it if you listen faintly. The track open and now they should be dropping in right about now. <laughs> that thing has got some G's. That's what I was saying, oh geez. See another ride vehicle going up. Definitely spend a lot more time in here than I had planned on doing, but I think I'm still gonna be able to accomplish my goal. I really do think I'm gonna be able to, to hit all the single riders at all the parks for close. All right, just about arrived over at Disney's Hollywood Studios. About to pull in. Okay, I had pretty good luck not bringing my umbrella. Animal Kingdom, I mean, it, was gonna storm, but it never even rained, which is weird. So I'll just continue and not bring it in here either. I think that, I think that one storm has already passed anyway. And the sun's kind of going down. All right, it's showing 65 minute wait time for standby, but I'm thinking single rider might be a little bit less. Okay, it's not 65 minutes, 70 minutes standby. 70 minutes. Let's see what happens when I go single rider. And it's located on the ramp right next to the lightning lane ramp. It's been kind of a standstill for the last 10 minutes. Now. Keeping up with that party in front of you at all times, filling in all that available space. At this time as well, we ask me to finish up all food and drink before entering our lobby area. And for our solo artists in the single rider line, please be advised that your wait time may be just as long, if not longer than that standby wait time. Once again, please keep up that time. Yeah, truthfully, I don't know if single rider on rock and roller coaster is really an advantage to just waiting in the normal queue. And according to this, I'm going through the artist entrance. Now over here is lightning lane, over here, single rider. So at least I'm in the AC, I don't have to wait outside. And you know what, I think this guitar here on the far end is just a little out of tune. Let me just, let me just tune that up there. Tune that up, yeah, just a little, little tuning, okay. Okay, I think it's good to go now. All right, I have now approached the half hour point of waiting I have at the door here. I don't know if I want to touch it because I feel like everybody has kind of rubbed their hands on this, but I'm a half hour in. I'm kind of getting a little claustrophobic in the room I've been in. I'm kind of packed in here. Hold it, hold it strong. There is a Go-Go's t-shirt over there on the wall in that frame. It's so close, close I can almost taste it. I'm so close. I just haven't even got into the main queue yet. This is probably a mistake getting in the single rider line, to be honest. I don't really recommend single rider line if there's anyone in it, unless it's like an empty single rider line. Better off just getting in the regular queue. All right, it looks like I'm now kind of going up this ramp into Studio B, so I'm almost there. Please clap twice. Now take a big step close to that party in front of you. You have room to clap, you have room to move. Move all the way up against that wall, up against that handrail, side by side by side, left, right, and middle. Keep on shuffling all the way forward, guys. Those doors will be opening towards you. All right, starting to make my way into the main room now. Basically, there's a second row over here to next to the regular queue. Oh, that's pretty neat. I've never noticed the rock and roller coaster painted on the side of the wall right there. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Rock all night. Oh look, ska review. Rhythm and blues. I think got ska listed on there. That's pretty neat. And rock night. I hardly ever will walk. Oh look at this old Mickey sticker over here as well. Some other band, some old band stickers too. Yeah, that's kind of a kind of a throwback Mickey. Well, that's the Mickey Mouse Club sticker. And then other, you know, probably real bands when they were theming this ride, they looked around for stickers to throw up on here. And now, the reason there's no one behind me is because they bring in about 10 single riders at one time after two different gaps of regular guests into the room, the pre-show with Aerosmith in there. 
and Chris has not been out to get the Les Paul. They, you know, one of the members says, hey, Chris, can you grab my black Les Paul? But here's the regular queue, and then that's where I'm going to be headed soon, through there, through the tunnel. A little scaffolding here, a little construction going on, all theming. This is all theming through. Here's a big pile of something. Yeah, but this is pretty neat. I'm getting a little, you know, I've heard of the different walls around Disney World. People get selfies. I got a selfie in front of the rock and roller coaster wall. How many people can say that? Yeah, I would not recommend single rider on this at this time of the day. Maybe earlier in the day it's a little bit better. If you're in a group and you're going to get separated anyway, just wait in the regular standby. Now, of course, for me, not having a party divided, it's going to be shorter than the 70 minutes what was posted. So for me, it's going to be a little bit better. But yeah, if you had a party, just get in the regular line. Okay, it looks like I'm next up. Noticing this wash this way auto detail. I've been in line one hour. One hour. I got in line at 558. It is now 658. They just made an announcement the ride vehicle has stopped. Really hope this doesn't hasn't isn't breaking down. So exactly one hour as opposed to 70 minutes if I was awaited in the regular queue. So I don't know if I'd recommend. Yeah, for me it didn't work out today. Okay, it was put in row eleven. Now they're shifting us around. For whatever reason, I'm going to another row. All right, a little bit of a delay, which puts it at 7.04, four minutes shy of the 70 minute wait time for standby. I am now getting on. So, an hour and four minutes. And I've been moved up from row four. Attention, VIPs, for your safety, please make sure both arms are on the outside of your harness and not through the middle, please. quite a bit of time. Actually, the two that I've gone on ate up quite a bit of time. The first one over at Animal Kingdom, really, 
I think the single rider line is amazing because you really don't have to wait very long. It was just the weather was, weather shut the ride down for a while. Rock and roller coaster, yeah, I don't, I don't think it's worth it. It's just my opinion. So we're gonna head over. Of course, obviously there's an exception to that. If I got, if I walked over and saw the single rider line was short, I would hop in it. But if the single rider has any length at all for rocking, I'm gonna skip it again. I wouldn't get in that line again. I would just get in regular standby or possibly do a lightning. And now I'm gonna see what kind of curveball Smuggler's Run throws at me. Single riders all the way on the far end over there. On the far end there, standby says 50 minutes, lightning lane, and now, there it is, single rider, right here. So 50 minutes standby, see what happens. Single rider. Hello. Single rider, right this way, your position will be a sign. Thank you. All right, here we go. You go through this little corridor. Look at this, check this out. Single rider time. It is 724 at the moment. So I'm walking in at 724, try to avoid the 50 minute standby wait time. 724, I have a good feeling about this, which is the opposite of what they say in Star Wars. I've got a bad feeling about this. I have a good feeling. I think it's gonna, I think I'm gonna be on this attraction in less than 15. See what happens right now. 724, 725. Wait, which way do I go? Anger base? This way? Now, probably not going to be able to be a pilot in this line because they kind of they wedge you in towards the end, but flight crew is wanted. And I'll probably end up being an engineer because I'll be one of the last ones wedged into the other group of six. But who knows? Maybe luck will be on my side and I'll be in my favorite position is the pilot. Engineer, my least favorite. You know what? At least I'm getting on here at a decent time frame. I'm, I'm almost about ready to board. I ended up walking in here at 7.31, so like, what was it, like 10 minutes? I lost track of what time I walked in the queue, but yeah, 7.31. Watch out, if a Wookiee's ever here playing chess with you, might rip your arm off. And I am gonna be an engineer. I'm gonna be sitting in the very, very back. The very, very back. All right, this more than made up for the other two. I got on here really, really fast. All right, that was pretty cool. Definitely the best seat in the house is being a pilot, you know, but being in the other two seats is pretty cool as well. I don't know how good we did though because there's a lot of damage through here. Damage here, damage here, you can see it all. The worst you do as a team, it'll end up kind of vibrating and shaking and showing some battle scars. Pretty neat, I haven't done smugglers in a long time. I haven't done Smuggler's Run in a long time. Oh, it's pretty cool to be uh, on board the fastest hunk of junk in the galaxy, or in a theme park. I just love the theming in Galaxy's Edge. This would be considered Batu East. Oh yeah, I forgot about this up here. It's almost like a little wire bird's nest in this little cave. You can kind of see up. All right, it is 7.41. I gotta get moving to get over to Epcot before they close and do the last single ride. Look at Nightfall's about to rear its head. 7.53, right? Was this a car on the tram route? Oh, it's a cast member. I was kind of confused for a minute. No trams running at studios, but. 7.53, by the time I get to my car, I'll have exactly one hour to get in to Epcot Center and have to get over to Test Track by then. Now, if I can get over and do Test Track Single Rider and then get over and check if Soar and Single Rider is working before they close at nine, it'd be pretty dang awesome. I could take the Skyliner over, but just not enough time. There's not enough time. Yeah, I think this could be doable. Big the foot, this could be doable to get both these in. A little after eight, a minute or two after eight. I'm at the point now where I kind of have a sixth sense when the monorail's gonna go by. I just know the timing that they're on, how often they, they go when one leaves one station, when another one will arrive soon after. No trams back here yet either. Studios and Epcot, no trams back up. All right, single rider, I've arrived. Okay, this is pretty cool. I never noticed the World of Motion Epcot logo there. Here, because this is in the old World of Motion building. Nice touch. 
Also, I've been in line for about 20 minutes and I'm about to board. And that World of Motion logo is lo located right down there. minutes to get over to Soren. Now I asked a cast member on how it worked during the day and they said basically when it gets really really busy during the day like more than a 20 or 30 minute wait time they will test their their words as testing so it's not a permanent and they haven't officially brought back the single rider line but they are testing it during the day of course it's a little bit later in the night just before close it's only a 15 minute wait so I was able to just walk right on, only 15 minutes. And I just pretty much just like walked right on with no wait whatsoever. I don't even know if it was even 15 minutes. I just walked right up and and went on and got the got the second row, which is kind of the middle row. You don't get the very top and you don't get the very bottom, but you get the you get the middle and to could watch the climactic, kind of old timey version of Epcot when Communicore was still a thing with the fireworks over Spaceship Earth. Speaking of fireworks, when I walked out, found a pretty good place to watch the fireworks, harmonious fireworks, nighttime spectacular, over by the pyramid and Journey to Imagination by the DVC Lounge and the upside down fountain. Yeah, you know, the PV, not the upside down fountain, but the upside down waterfall, the PVC fountain, which is pretty neat. And as Spaceship Earth is illuminated right when the fireworks are completed, check it out. Monorail going by. I was trying to catch it when the fire with the fireworks going on, but it's only like a 15 minute loop. And it didn't happen, but as I was exiting, there goes the monorail. And that's gonna do it for today. Might as well end it right here with another monorail going by. Had a good time. Didn't think I was gonna accomplish it. The, the first two single rider issues was, you know, the weather and then how long it took to get on the second one at Hollywood Studios. But I did it, got all the singer single rider lines accomplished i'll see you in the next video the vlog is over and i got a couple couple good pen trades in today too i got elliot from peach dragon there hold me apple and i believe that's from expedition everest the yeti there two i don't have doing pretty good on the pen trading lately